series, we talk to successful entrepreneurs who have conquered immeasurable obstacles to live the life of their dreams. These are the Rockstar Entrepreneurs. Born in India in 1964, Chef Vidge began cooking for his mother and friends when he was only 10 years old. He turned pro in his 20s after studying hotel management in Austria and working in Salzburg and Vienna for a few years. After moving to Canada and working at the Bamp Spring Hotel in Alberta, Vikram opened his now famous Vidge's Fine Dining Restaurant with his wife in Vancouver. With the success of their first venture, in 2004, Vikram and Miru opened their second, more informal restaurant, Rangoli, and launched a line of prepackaged curries with the purchase of a 28,000 square foot food processing plant. Vikram and his wife have also launched two best selling cookbooks. He was also a former dragon on Dragon's Den, investing in startup companies. joining us for this week's Rockstar Entrepreneur Series here at the beautiful Trump Hotel in downtown Toronto. And joining us now is Rockstar Entrepreneur Vikram Vidge. Thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure. Namaste. So Vikram, you know, everyone knows you as a celebrity chef and an entrepreneur, but you know, you came from humble beginnings. So talk to us a little bit about, you know, when you first moved to uh, Austria, then you went to uh, Vancouver. So talk to us a little bit about those moves. Well, you know, I left India because I wanted to be actually a Bollywood actor in India. Yeah. And my father said, no way, you're going to become a Bollywood actor. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, what's the next best thing I can do? I yeah. said, I should open up a, sh a restaurant because when at 5.30 the curtain is drawn, mm -hmm. you're performing. Yeah. You're a state actor. Yeah. I wanted to be like the Nasuruddin Shah of, <laughs> of Indian stage. Yeah. So Austria obviously was a great culinary experience and then uh, coming to Calgary starting as a dishwasher at the Bam Springs wow. Hotel and when I first opened up my own restaurant up you know my breakaway point was a hundred bucks yeah. like if I sold a hundred bucks I was going to survive. Talk to us a little bit about, about your passion for food because it really shows and I think that's really the key to your success is that you know there are so many chefs out there but you're very very passionate about it so talk to us a little bit about your love for food to be honest with you, it's not just passion, it's my first love. It's my girlfriend, it's yeah. my wife, it's my, uh, it's something that I absolutely love. Yeah. I dream, I think, I imagine, and I absolutely love it. I, I really do breathe it. My cumin and my cloves and the cinnamon and ginger, they sing to me exactly mm. like a musician has his notes. So the way a musician creates their own music by actually playing music, I think I create music by cooking the food with the spices and passionately about it. It happens to be that that passion gave me a platform to become a businessman. It gave me a platform to be successful at what I do. But it also gave me a purpose in life. And that purpose was to bring awareness to a country that I left at the age of 19 to become who I am today. Talk to us a little bit about when you opened your first restaurant. I know it started with the 14-seater restaurant and now it's, you have this big you know, empire. So talk to us a little bit about those experiences with the first restaurant. Well, 14-seat restaurant, I mean, it was such a, a small restaurant that you know the landlord used to not like the smell of my curry because it was such a small seat okay. restaurant. So my mother would actually make a pot of chicken curry in our house where we lived and she would put it between her legs and come all the way on the bus and you know what, for the longest time she didn't tell me that everybody on the bus would look at her and say, what is this crazy Indian woman yeah. doing with a pot of chicken curry between her legs? Mm -hmm. And she wanted to give the best food possible, cooked by a lot of love and with hands. So that's the curry that she used to make. Yeah. And so that 16 seat restaurant has grounded me in such a way that even today, if all empire is lost, I can still go back to my 16 seat restaurant. I can yeah. still go out and cook and never do I ever feel that I'm above it. My tenacity to work hard, my tenacity to perform and my tenacity to just be there is so high that I don't take anything for granted and I'm totally comfortable starting from scratch. It was tough. It has been tough. Man, who said life is easy? Yeah. 
What do you think the key to your success has been? Because you know, you've had, you've built an empire, uh, you have restaurants, you have uh, books, food trucks. What do you think that the key to your success? I think my biggest key to the success was that I did not lose my focus. I was not for sale. My biggest key was, I said, this is who I am, take it or leave it. I wear a nose ring, I wear jewelry, I'm proud of it. This is, you're gonna accept me. You're gonna accept my food the way it is. Yeah. And as, as an advice to anybody, it's just, just be confident of who you are. Yeah. Be comfortable and say, you know what? Jesus Christ, I am the best at what I do. But remember to hone your skills in right places so that your resume says you worked at this and this place. I always worked at the top uh, hotels mm -hmm. or the top restaurants under the top chefs. Mm -hmm. And why I worked there? Because I knew that the, the training that I would get from them, the hard work, the, the penance to do something so hard would be so important for me down the road. And it has paid off. What does success mean to you? You know, success means to me is when I'm walking on the street and somebody looks at me and says, thank you for bringing awareness to a cuisine. Thank you for representing us. Thank you for being who you are and being authentic in your way of showcasing yourself. Not what kind of a car I drive, how much fancy homes do I have, uh, and how much money do I have in my wallet. That's all relative, it comes and goes. You know, you can drive a fancy car today and you could be a pauper tomorrow. But the fact, the legacy that I leave behind, the Vidge's name will be left behind. People will remember Vidge's and say, yeah, that man came along and he approached Indian food differently. I agree. What is one of the biggest obstacles that you faced in your career? And, and how did you overcome that? I've never seen anything as an obstacle in life. I've seen this as a little bit of, a little, a pebble or a little stone right there. I feel, and I, and I got this from my grandmother and my grandparents, that I want to be that river that flows from the top of the mountain and the only goal that river has is to meet the ocean. That's the goal it has. And it doesn't matter how many obstacles it has, it eventually passes it because it needs to meet the ocean. What kind of legacy would you like to leave? What do you want people to remember you by? You know what, I would want, I would want my kids to say uh, that our father was somebody who was focused, who loved what he did, and he followed his heart and his passion. I would want um, all my girlfriends to know that I was the best lover they had ever had. I would want people to know that I cooked the best food that I could and I put the best foot forward for them. Uh, I would all my business men or business partners to know that uh, they invested in me and they never got cheated. They made money out of what I did. Um, and I would want God to know that I came on this earth to um, help the people that couldn't help themselves, but also to promote Indian food, Indian culture to North America. Last but not least, if you could look into the camera and you know inspire one person out there that's going through a difficult time and you know wants to give up on their dreams or you know just doesn't know how to you know take that next step or what would you say to them? Focus, work hard, work with integrity, and trust me, things will happen. Do not run after money. Do not run after fame. Run after your passion. And passion will bring you fame and money in time. Enjoy it. The Rockstar Entrepreneur Series is in partnership with the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Toronto. 